Good morning. It is cold. It, you know those days where it looks cold? That's today. That is December 9th. It just looks cold. I am excited to announce that I finally ordered the mat board for this. So the poster that has been under my bed since the summer will be able to finally be in a frame and my backdrop will be complete. Can we look at my skin? So holy cow, like what is going on? I'm so happy at whatever I'm doing's working. So the auto body just called me and I guess the camera, the new camera that they put in my vehicle was like not sending the right signal to my cruise control and the only people that are able to fix it is a jeep dealership so my jeep is currently there and he said by the time that it's like never ending by the time that the auto body gets my jeep back from the dealership um and clean it up and everything it's probably gonna be ready tomorrow it's been over a month. I just want my car back. I do have an appointment at two o'clock. So I just signed up with a therapist. I've just been, I don't know. I've been getting in like really, really sad moods. I used to see someone when I was younger, when my parents got divorced. And then I tried again in college, but I went to a psychiatrist and after only talking to me for five minutes, prescribed me like three different medications and... I'm not down with that. I don't like taking pills at all. I would rather heal myself or like get to the root of my issues. It's been a couple years and I've just been finding myself so sad. And I don't know if I have certain things in my life that are triggering me to be sad or if I'm just generally a sad person. So... Hopefully seeing this new therapist and like talking out what has been bothering me and just like my issues will help me feel a lot better. But here are my deepest, darkest secrets, internet. It's crazy because I know how important mental health is. I've had, oh my God, I've had um, three friends commit suicide. So I get it. I understand, but then I've also made excuses to not do anything about it, which is really pathetic too. And I know how everyone is so vocal about it now, so I'm not sure why it's taken me so long to talk about it. But yeah, I do have my really sad days and I have my really happy days. So I would like to try and limit my really sad days or control them and not let them get the best of me. Oh my God, I don't know why my eyes are watering. I've just never talked about this stuff like literally to anyone. I think just like my sister and my best friend, but it's crazy and sad how many people do experience this and have it and go through it. So what the hell is the point of me having a platform telling you every other intimate detail about my life, but not talking about mental health? That just seems like fraudulent behavior. This is how she looks for deer in our backyard. Do you see a mama? Big girl. Hello, it is 12 o'clock, so it is the, whoa, Erin. It's the next day, and I'm in a way better mood than I was last night, despite my Jeep still not being ready. <sighs> I'm so frustrated. Oh, I did get Callie's Christmas present. Came in yesterday. Um, Paw.com, if you have an animal, you've probably seen this before so she is always on our couch we have her on a blanket but you can see like she lays there she lays right there she just has her certain spots and i'm really sick of buying like nice blankets and then having her get them dirty and i also don't like how the dog bed looks in our i know my living room needs to be picked up but i just don't like how this looks so i picked her up a nice faux fur blanket for the couch so it's aesthetically pleasing yeah you know i'm talking about you and a new bed Old bed new bed you love it do you love your bed mama oh you do look at the tail it's so pretty that bed looks so cute. You look so comfy. 
got an early Christmas present. <laughs> I am obsessed with these Mark Fisher boots. They are so freaking cute and so comfortable and lightweight. Like, are you kidding? Look at that. So cute. Do you want to come run errands with mommy? You want to come? Oh, oh, okay. Can you stop crying? I took you so that you could hang out with me and you're crying. It's very upsetting. So I just got to Target and I just realized that I didn't order Felici that I didn't order from the Ulta that's literally right in the plaza. I ordered it from a different... <coughs> Callie, you're so rude. I ordered it from somewhere else. I now have to go to another area that's like 20 minutes away to pick up my Ulta order. Never will I ever. Will you though? I just dumped all my fries. Well, we ate most of the fries on the way home, didn't we? on the ground if you are wondering what my order is it is a big mac no it's not i'll get a big mac if that's like my lunch but we are getting chinese in a couple hours so i got a mcdouble with mac sauce medium sprite small fry mm. So good. That took forever, but I don't mind waiting forever in line at McDonald's if the food is good. The fries were hot, they were salty, they were crispy, and there were some soggy ones. This is still hot. Like when McDonald's pulls through, not to mention there's nothing like a McDonald's Sprite. I don't really drink soda unless it's with Jameson and that's ginger ale. But McDonald's Sprite or the Peach Mountain Dew, I think it is. I think it's Mountain Dew. Peach Mountain Dew from KFC. Whoa. And then like cold, ice cold can of Sprite in the summer. I'm so lazy and fat. I just drove to Target, had my order placed in my trunk. Then drove to McDonald's. Still need to go to Ulta. Still need to go drop off my comforter. I hate leaving the house now. I really think I'm starting to like develop a problem. I, ne this is probably my first time leaving the house since last Sunday to go grocery, since Sunday to go grocery shopping. It's been almost a week. It's been four days. I just don't like being outside my home. I'm gonna go grab my Target stuff out of the trunk and show you guys what I got. Ugh. Okay, so only one bag. The first item are these, don't fall. So the first item is Vix Vapo Shower. So it's shower tablets that you put like on the floor in the shower when you're showering. So my husband and I have been waking up extremely stuffy. So I figured this would be a great way for him to end the day and for me to start my day because he showers at night, I shower in the morning. I saw them on TikTok and people were obsessed with them. So we shall see. Next up are these organizing trays. So I grabbed two of these. I really wanna organize where all my makeup is. I have acrylic containers, but there isn't much structure, so I'm gonna try this out. I also, of course, she's gonna start eating as I'm filming. In our kitchen island, there's a drawer that just gets overwhelmingly messy every time I organize it. So I'm hoping this will keep things more organized. My husband and I are doing stocking stuffers and he loves bar soaps. So I just saw this random one. I don't even know if he likes this scent or this brand but I grabbed this for his stocking. It's Harry's Bar Soap in Stone. This is good. You guys know I'm a bathrobe whore, and are you kidding? Like what? Look at the color. The color is unreal, but it's so soft. Oh my God, it's so so freaking soft. It's like 30 bucks, 30 bucks. I cannot wait to put this on. Oh, so nice. I'm gonna wear this neat Chinese food later. Mm. Oh, Aaron, get it together. There we go. 
So while my husband's in the bathroom, I'll show you guys what I got from Ulta. I hope these stores never stop doing like curbside because I'm about that life. So with a perfume purchase, I got this blankie. It's so soft. I've been talking about it all day, but obviously I'm trying to get new throw blankets because my dog has thoroughly destroyed all of them. I don't know why I just <laughs> Next up, I got a giant bottle of Duh, duh, duh. Uh, Batiste, this is my favorite one. This is part of his Christmas present. Mont Blanc Legend, it was like five times the points if you picked it up when I got it. Um, but this is rated like top five men cologne. Men's cologne, why can't I talk? Why can't I speak? I don't know why I'm whispering. I have a Mont Blanc perfume and oh, it's to die for. So I'm hoping this one lives up to its height. Then I've been complaining in every single vlog that all my mascara mascaras are dried up. Um, so I picked up Essence Lash Princess. This is me repurchasing this one. It's only $4.99 and it's phenomenal. And then the second one is the IT Cosmetics Superhero. I had this one as a sample and I loved it. This was a free product for picking up the Batiste and it's waterless cleansing foam. Instant hair refresh, dries in 60 seconds, cleanse and shine with coconut milk. Interesting, very interesting. And then, wow, this is tiny for what I paid for. I need to check to make sure they gave me the right size. This was Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. It is a volumizing and texturizing powder and basically you apply at the root on dry hair for an instant lift, sprinkle through hair for a lightweight texture, separation and control. I'm letting my hair air dry now. I'm trying to avoid heat products as much as possible, but when I do rollers or anything, I feel like if I put a little bit more in this, it'll last a little bit longer instead of using hairspray. Oh, hairspray and it just hairspray and it's getting like tacky because I don't like that so yeah that's it for my Ulta haul okay so I'm going to cut the vlog right here thank you for spending the last two days with me I feel like we went through a lot together you saw me go through a lot okay I gotta go thank you so much for watching